remember that um i had a, a video a little while ago that guy saying like if we keep complaining about all these games then developers aren't going to make games anymore and i was just like what are you talking about dude and one of the things he said is you know i, he used to, I talk to all these guys and they're like they don't have enough games to play i'm like what planet are you living on man like if you're talking about a very specific very very specific genre of game like let's take for example a life sim game there's not really a lot that are out there there's more that are coming that i've seen um i know one of them paradox just shut down theirs life by you i think was what it was called but life sims there's not really a whole hell of a lot there's the sims and then there's a couple of i, I don't know Maybe some lesser known ones, maybe some older ones. I mean, people still play like Sims 3 and Sims 2 and stuff like that. But if you're talking about a very specific genre, okay, I understand you. I understand what you're talking about. But if you're talking about games on a whole and you're saying it's not enough to play, you need to broaden your horizons, man. Really like broaden your horizons and check and see what's out there. If the only games that you play fall into a specific genre or subgenre, branch out a little bit i mean you may not find everything to be to your liking but experiment a little bit it's okay if you don't like something you can just put it down if it's within two hours on steam you can refund it say this isn't for me or and then you can go and try something else or watch some trailers watch some um watch some streams watch some youtube videos and see if you like it now i was talking about this with lord beerus like i don't i I'm willing to entertain the idea that there's some context to what he was saying that I wasn't aware of, maybe, because it was just like a, a two minute clip that everybody on Twitter was reacting to. Maybe there is some context that I am missing, but a lot of times it, it's just like if, unless news of some games coming up are served up to you on a silver platter, you don't know about anything. You don't go and look and explore on your own you're just waiting for people to tell you or you're waiting for some specific news outlets to tell you hey there's this new game coming out it's gonna be great if that's what you're relying on yeah then i can totally understand but you got to take those blinders off and realize that there are so many more games that are being made than anybody can, that any one person can play it's and it's honestly a little maddening because there are so many games that I see that I want to play. Like I want to play Black Myth Wukong. I want to play all of these games that are on platforms I don't currently have. But I have to acknowledge that the reality is, is that I can't right now. Maybe at some point I will. Maybe at some point, once the hype for these games dies down and uh, they become available on PC, then I'll, I'll have a second look and I'll be like, okay, you know what? I remember hearing about this game maybe like five, 10 years ago and people really liked it. Let's give it a shot. And I don't have a problem with that. I don't need to play everything right away. I'm not, uh, I'm not a bleeding edge gamer and I haven't been for ever. I, I don't think I've ever been. And it's just because I never really had that opportunity to. I had a lot of friends who maybe had a little bit more money than, than my family did who were getting all these games as soon as they were coming out for like Nintendo and Sega and whatever. I remember I had this one guy in my class who was so proud of the fact that he had an Atari Jaguar, which is a system that I don't think I knew anybody else that owned, but he was so proud of it. And he had access to all of these games as soon as they come out and he would tell us all about them and we'd listen and be like, oh, I can't, I can't wait to play that. I really want to play that game. And you know, it, he was lucky. He was fortunate enough to have access to that not everybody does and that's not that shouldn't be a source of shame for anybody you do whatever works for you you don't have to you don't have to look at other people playing these games that you want to play and say well those are real gamers no they're just people who have the ability to maybe they have more time maybe they have more money maybe they have more of a drive to but fomo is is just it's really bad. <laughs> it can be really bad, especially if you let it control you. That's, I, I feel like a lot of people do, unfortunately. But these games are, for the most part, these games aren't going anywhere. And the longer you wait to play it, for one, the better price you get. Number two, 
these bugs get worked out, sometimes new stuff gets added, and you just have to be patient and you will be rewarded for it. Yeah, if you're not used to it, it hurts a lot at first. Like inside, it's just like, oh, I'm so, I want to do something, but I can't, I can't, I shouldn't. And after a while, you just get used to waiting and it becomes normal for you. And then you'll wonder why you never did it this way to begin with. But that's just how I see things. I've been a patient gamer for a long, long, long time. And especially now with the state of AAA, it really pays to be one. And it's also given me the opportunity to explore older games that I haven't played for a very long time. Games that I abandoned as a kid. I played The Immortal for NES. It's a 30-year-old game that I didn't beat because I sucked at it. <laughs> huh. And also indie games. Like, look at the two that we played tonight. These games were a lot of fun. And uh, it gave me two hours worth of entertainment. What did it cost me? Nothing. Even when these games come out, I'd be surprised if they're more than 30 bucks each. So I can buy both of these games. Let's say that it's 30 bucks each. I could buy both of these. That'll be 60 bucks total. And I'll have hours and hours and hours of entertainment out of it. I'll have a, hopefully, at least from the indications I've seen so far, I'll have good games, great music, really solid storytelling, fun gameplay loop, and I'll be happy. Or I could buy an $80 game, or if it's an Ubisoft title, I could buy a $90, $110, $130 game. And wonder why I did that to myself. And curse AAA Studios for making me buy this game, even though they didn't. It's just their marketing is just so pervasive, and yeah, I'm just going in a loop now. <laughs> but that's my take on things. I'm sure other people have different points of view and are welcome to them. I understand that, uh, I mean, we all play games for different reasons. We've all come to gaming in different ways. Everybody's got a different perspective and that is totally 100% absolutely okay. You do you. And on that note, I think that's a good spot to end the stream. You go out there and you go play some fun ass games. I will see you later. You have a great rest of your week. See you Friday. So long.